क्लियर सर क्लियर हाँ सर now so this is the i consider this one of the most difficult readings in the entire tfa syllabus okay i'll consider this to be the most difficult reading now what is pension guys now what is a pension plan jo kya provider plan hota hai wo basically pension plan is an agreement under which an employer would pay money to the employee after they retire so it's basically anil ek bar mute kar le mera voice echo ho raha hai okay so a pension plan is basically an agreement under which an employer agrees to pay monetary benefits or employer agrees to pay money to the employees after they retire so see once you retire from the company company will pay you something after you retire and what it pays after you retire is a post retirement benefit right and uh, sorry apna nahi hota hai kya ha ये अपना इंडिया में नहीं होता है क्या पेंशन मिलता है तो गवर्नमेंट वाला लोग देता नहीं पेंशन नहीं नहीं प्राइवेट कंपनी प्राइवेट में नहीं होता शायद है ना प्राइवेट में नहीं होता सो हाउ पोस्ट रिटायरमेंट बेनिफिट्स वुड बी पेड वुड डिपेंड अपॉन द पेंशन प्लान चोजन नाउ पेंशन प्लान्स बेसिकली आर रिटायरमेंट प्लान्स which are defined you know the which are designed to provide income to individuals during their retirement years you know so they are financial plans decided uh, designed to provide income to individuals after they retire so there are two pensions plans that are in our syllabus right there are two pension plans that are part of our syllabus one is defined contribution defined contribution and the other is defined benefit defined benefit is very complex and defined contribution is very simple so we'll discuss the simple fast first because that is the tradition of our classes we first do the simple things and then the hard things right so in a defined contribution plan uh, the firm or the employer would contribute a sum of money each period in the employee's retirement account right so the employer would contribute certain amount of money in the retirement account of the employee now the contribution can be based on a number of factors like employee's age years of service compensation level firm's profitability right so the amount of contribution into the employee's retirement account you know can vary with these factors now the employee the employee has the choice to invest the money in his retirement account in whichever way he chooses so say for example the employee is given a choice to invest in portfolio a b or c right so this is your employee he has given the choice to invest in either portfolio a or b or c right and where will he get the money to invest in these portfolios from his retirement account right and who contributes money in the retirement account the employer so the employer is employee the employee is given the choice to invest in say portfolio a b or c now out of the available investment opportunity say 
the employee chooses the employee chooses uh, employee chooses portfolio c right so out of the available investment opportunities the employee chooses portfolio c so whatever was in whatever is, uh, was in his retirement account he chose to invest that money in portfolio c now if this portfolio c does not perform well then the employee has no recourse but to accept the outcome right the employee has no recourse but to accept the outcome if if portfolio c does not perform well the employer will not come to his rescue employer will not come to his rescue okay so the basic idea is that you know the employee chooses where to invest his money so all the investment risk lies with the employee right so employer contributes some money in the retirement account this contribution is based on a number of factors as we've already discussed employee is uh, you know given a choice to invest in various uh, financial assets say in our example employee chooses to invest in portfolio c if portfolio c does not do well then the employee has no recourse but to accept that outcome employer will not come to the will not come to rescue the employee so since the employee is choosing where to invest the money all the investment risk lies with the employee right so in a defined contribution plan or a dc plan all the investment risk is borne by the by the bolo kisse by agar wo galat jagah rupya invest kar diya तो वो सिर्फ रोने की जगह कुछ और नहीं कर सकता ठीक है ना वो एम्प्लॉयर उसको बचाने आने वाला नहीं है राइट एम्प्लॉयर उसको नहीं बचाने आएगा जो वो किया वो खुद भुगतेगा ठीक है ना राइट कोई डाउट आशय कुणाल अनिल कोई डाउट है अभी तक डिफाइंड कंट्रीब्यूशन प्लान पे नो सर सर ये डिफाइंड कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन प्लान है ना जो ये हमारे एनपीएस जैसे नेशनल पेंशन स्कीम आपको मालूम होगा ना हां हां सेम है एकदम नाउ अकाउंटिंग फॉर डिफाइंड कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन प्लान नाउ इन द इनकम स्टेटमेंट आई एम टॉकिंग ऑफ द इनकम स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द एम्प्लॉयर ठीक है ना इन दी वी आर टॉकिंग ऑफ द इनकम स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय एक सेकेंड लैपटॉप हैंग हो गया इनकम स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द एम्प्लॉयर ठीक है ना नाउ दिस एम्प्लॉयर कंट्रीब्यूशन इज इज एक्सपेंस एज पेंशन एक्सपेंस इन द इनकम स्टेटमेंट ठीक है ना दिस एम्प्लॉयर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज एक्सपेंस्ड एज पेंशन एक्सपेंस इन द इनकम स्टेटमेंट एंड नथिंग इज रिपोर्टेड ऑन द बैलेंस शीट राइट नथिंग वुड बी रिपोर्टेड इन द बैलेंस शीट ओनली द एम्प्लॉयर्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इन द एम्प्लॉयज रिपोर्ट इन द एम्प्लॉयज रिटायरमेंट अकाउंट इज रिपोर्टेड एज अ पेंशन एक्सपेंस इन द इनकम स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द एम्प्लॉयर प्लीज राइट दिस डाउन employers contribution in employees retirement account is reported as pension expense in the income statement of the employer nothing is reported in the balance sheet 
no but say say you know the idea is that say if the employee your if the employer has not paid any accrued employer contribution right so if if say if uh, some employer contribution had accrued for the year but the employer has not paid it right then that uh, unpaid contribution would be recorded as a liability right so write this down as well any employer contribution that is that has accrued for the year but not paid is reported as a liability in the employer's balance sheet right now this is your regular accounting regular accrual basis of accounting so if the if any employer contribution that has accrued for the year is unpaid then that unpaid employer contribution is reported as a liability in the balance sheet of the employer theek okay. hai guys any doubts here please sir liability ki kya line item hoti hai unpaid pension expense aayega okay. Okay, now guys, the very difficult part which is defined benefit. Defined contribution तो अपना हो गया. That was very simple. Now it's defined benefit. तो एक और चीज़ इसमें ये balance sheet में जब मतलब जाएगा मतलब liability पे अगर accrued वाला जो part है उसका तो asset side में कैसे balance हो गई? हम्म. ये asset side में कैसे balance होगा liability के against? देख. सुनना अगर इनकम स्टेटमेंट में सपोज कर पेंशन एक्सपेंस बैठा सौ रुपये ठीक है ना और सपोज ये कैश में हो गया ठीक है तो बैलेंस शीट में क्या होगा कि कैश घटेगा ठीक है और रिटेन अर्निंग्स वुड आल्सो डिक्रीज बाय हंड्रेड राइट बिकॉज योर नेट इनकम वुड रिड्यूस बाय हंड्रेड बिकॉज यू आर एक्सपेंसिंग हंड्रेड डॉलर right so your net income would reduce so your retained earnings would also reduce by 100 okay this is when your uh pension expense is paid the entire 100 dollars is paid say if this is unpaid tab kya hoga ashay pension expense would still be expensed in the income statement theek hai na in the balance sheet what would happen your retained earnings would decrease By hundred dollars because your net income will decrease by hundred dollars. So net income for the year is added to your retained earnings. Since net income is falling, retained earnings would also fall by hundred. Or liability side would increase by hundred. Unpaid expense would increase by hundred. So increase by hundred, decrease by hundred would get cancelled out. Asset side would be unaffected. ठीक है? ठीक है अच्छा? समझे? हाँ. एसेट साइड को कुछ नहीं होगा रिटेन अर्निंग्स घटेगा और लाइबिलिटी बढ़ जाएगा बैलेंस शीट टैली कर ठीक है ठीक है आशे ओके आगे बढ़ो हां आ गया ये वापस कैसे आ गया Okay, now in a defined benefit plan, what happens is that the employer promises to make fixed periodic payment to the employee after he retires. Right? He will promise to the employee. Employer would promise to the employee that I will pay you something. Um, I will pay you something 
every year after you retire right till you die so basically say the employee retires at 60 right so the employee started working for the company when he was 35 now he retires at age 60 so the employer promises that you know from the 61st year i will pay you $1000 till you till you die till death right smiley we takes any banana right so i'll pay you $1000 till you die so here basically the firm is employer is promising to pay to the employee after he dies a fixed sum of money ah uh, i mean after he retires not after he dies the uh, employer is promising to pay the employee a fixed sum of money every year after he retires now this sum of money that will be paid to the employee after he retires is based on a number of factors right so number those factors are please write this down अभी सब एकदम कान खुला जवान अंदर एकदम ध्यान से फैक्टर्स दैट डिटरमाइन व्हाट द इम्प्लॉयर वुड पे टू द इम्प्लॉय आफ्टर रिटायरमेंट और फैक्टर्स दैट डिटरमाइन फ्यूचर पेंशन बेनिफिट्स okay so first it's the final salary the employee's final salary right so the final salary we would be paid to the employee when when he retires on the 60th year right at the end of the 60th year or when he is when he turns 60 he'll receive his final salary right and from 61st year he'll start receiving pension and in our example we have basically assumed that he'll as he'll receive a pension of $1000 every year one year after he retires right he'll receive a pension of $1000 every year one year after he retires so basically starting from one year after he retires so factors that determine future benefits is the final salary final salary would be paid to the employee when he retires that is at age 60 then years of service and a benefit factor so this 1000 dollar payment is dependent on these three factors okay now please understand i'll help i'll uh, this is the intuition for uh, what is going to be paid after retirement is very important right okay so say the employee has worked for one year right the employee has worked for 1 year and his final salary is expected to be dollars 1 lakh and there is a benefit factor which is 1% right now you will ask me what is a benefit factor basically benefit factor is the portion of the salary that is paid out as benefits right it's the portion of the final salary that is paid out as benefits right so the employee has worked for 1 year his final salary is expected to be $100000 who will decide the fin- expected final salary there would be an actuarial who would uh, estimate the final salary of the employee right and uh, the benefit factor is 1% right so the employee would retire in would retire when he is 60 years old right so based on his uh, current service history or based on the you know based on the number of years he has worked um, he is eligible to receive his final salary into 
number of years of service into benefit factor as pension every year one year after he retires right so the final salary is 1000 into number of years of service is 1 into benefit factor is 1% so this is how much 1 lakh into 1 into 1% 1 1000 so based on his current service history he will receive $1,000 every year, one year after he retires and this will continue till he dies, right? So this is how this pension benefit is calculated, right? This pension benefit payable to the employee is calculated. Now please understand. Uh, let me take this example further. Now say the employee works for one more year. So he has worked for two years in total. That is his service history with the company is two years. Now what he is eligible to receive? Please tell me. His service history is two years. He's worked for two years. Now what is it? Hmm? Doja. Doja. One lakh into now what he'll receive retired at the 60th year from 61st year he'll start receiving 2000 till he dies right now say he you know so basically the idea is that by working for one more year he is eligible to receive 1000 extra Right, guys, please understand this. By working for one more year, he is eligible to receive 1000 extra after retirement. Now, say if he works for three years, he will be eligible to receive how much after retirement? Yes, if he has worked for three years, he will be eligible to receive 3000. Then he will receive 3000 every year one year after he retires till his death right so the basic notion is that for every additional year of service employee is eligible to receive an additional thousand dollars in pension right now this this future payment receivable by the employee is this an is this a revenue for the employer or is this a is this an asset for the employer or is, is this a liability for the employer? liability yes this future payment receivable by the employee is a liability for the employer this please write this down this is very important this future payment receivable by the employee is a liability for the employee. Sir, how does this work if someone switches company? See, suppose after two years working, he switches to something. What does present value give him? We will talk about it. Present value of these benefits, he will pay for the company. ठीक है ना दो साल का काम किया तो जो फ्यूचर में मिलना है उसका पीवी कैलकुलेट करके आज दे देंगे सर हाँ हाँ सपोज अगर किसी ने तीस साल में काम करना चालू किया थी इसकी एज पे जब इकतीस का होगा तो उसमें वाली जो कैलकुलेशन है इसमें नंबर ऑफ ईयर ऑफ सर्विस एक होगा तो उसके हिसाब से हजार हजार लग जाएगा साठ के बाद और उसके बाद जैसे जैसे साल बढ़ते जाएंगे फिर उसमें एक एक हजार ऐड होता जाएगा एकदम अच्छा चार साल का काम किया तो यहाँ चार हजार हो जाएगा पांच साल काम हुआ पांच हजार छह साल काम हुआ तो फिर इकसठ साल से छह साल काम किया तो इकसठवा साल को छह हजार छह हजार मिलना शुरू हो जाएगा इकसठवा साल से फिर अगर तीस साल काम कर लिया तो इकसठवा साल से तीस मिलना चालू हो जाएगा ठीक है आशे क्लियर
हाँ सर सो लेटस सी लेटस सी सी द आइडिया इज दैट यू नो दिस फ्यूचर पेमेंट रिसीवेबल बाय रिसीवेबल बाय रिसीवेबल बाय द एम्प्लॉज एंड लाइबिलिटी एंड यू नो टू एस्टिमेट दिस लाइबिलिटी द एम्प्लॉय एम्प्लॉयर विल हायर एन एक्चुअरी एंड द एक्चुअरी विल यू नो अज्यूम अ नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स he will assume employee turnover what is employee turnover guys any idea what is employee turnover ek employee kitna contribute kar raha hai matlab nahi nahi employee turnover hota hai ki saal mein kitna employee company ko chhod ke chala jayega right attrition rate attrition rate basically yes Achha. so the actuary will estimate the employee turnover the average retirement age and the life expectancy after retirement theek hai na so see we don't know when the employee will die right so the there would be an actuarial who will estimate the life expectancy of the employee after retirement theek hai na now i said that we will keep on paying 1000 dollars to the employee from the 61st year till his death but we don't know when he will die right but we and if we don't know when he will die we won't be able to calculate the benefits payable to the employee so there would be we would hire an actuarian who will estimate the employee's life expectancy he will be the one who will uh, estimate the mortality rate theek hai na so to estimate this liability employer will hire an actuary who will estimate employee turnover that is the number of employees will leave the organization in a year the retirement age and the life expectancy after retirement now let us you know let us see how how to estimate this liability right how this liability is estimated in the real world let us take this so abhi main excel mein ek example dunga and we'll build on that example itna sara mere water khol ke baithe hain एक सेकेंड का स्टेज टेंस जाना मत मेरे को क्लास आज बहुत कंप्लीट कराना सर थोड़ा फ्री टाइम में आज 
क्लास तुम लोग क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर रहे हैं कैन उसका बैकअप जो ये यस हां सर एक्सेल में दिखाना था क्या हो गया सर एक सेकंड बस चलो कुछ तो खोला है देखो क्या होता है गेम मत चल जाएगा के चल पर छिमजिम चल पर मेरे मुन्ना सर मैकबुक ले लीजिए अब हां पैसा कहां से लाए सब कॉस्ट कटिंग में सब चल रहा है बाबा हम शेयर ब्रोकर है हम कभी भी अपना रुपया जो कमाता है वो खर्चता नहीं है सर एक दिन का प्रॉफिट नहीं एक घंटे का प्रॉफिट नहीं होगा एक दिन आता है एक दूसरा दिन चला जाता है इसीलिए ट्रेडर और शेयर मार्केट वाला कभी अपना स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग नहीं बढ़ा सकता हम लोग हमेशा एकदम कंट्रोल में चल लायबिलिटी कभी भी आ सकता है इसमें कभी भी आ सकता ऐसा हो चुका है मेरे पास एक्सुबरेंस ऑफ यूथ में हम बहुत पहले जो रुपया कमाता था जा आईफोन ले जा ये ले जा वो ले पिछले 10 साल से 5 साल 7 साल से आई तब शांति मेंटेन करता अब नहीं करता कुछ चलो चलो जल्दी यहां तो आया तो आके वो से गाइस एम्प्लॉई हैज जॉइंड अ कंपनी ऑन 1 जनवरी 2020 ठीक है यहां से चालू करें क्या एक Okay, so the employee has joined the company on 1st January 1st Jan 2020 को company joined किया, ठीक है? And uh, he is expected to work for 16 years, right? So one to you'll work for sixteen years, right? And he'll retire here. He'll retire after. एक सेकंड में वेरी गुड नाउ वी आर बैक राइट सो ही विल जॉइन हियर नजर आ रहा है कि मैं ज़ूम करूं इसको ट्राई करो ओके सो ही जॉइन द कंपनी ऑन 1 जनवरी 2020 एंड ही इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू वर्क फॉर 16 इयर्स सो ही विल रिटायर समवेयर हियर राइट now by 31st december 2020 by 31st december 2020 he would have worked for one year right he would have worked for one year he joined at on 1st january 2020 by 31st december he has worked for one year with the company right and uh, he will retire after working for 16 years and uh, he is expected to live for 10 years after he retires right so the actuary says that he'll work for 10 years after he retires right 
ठीक है ना सो दिस इज इज रिटायरमेंट के बाद तो ऐसे जबरदस्ती निकाल थोड़ी सकते हैं मतलब काम कर सकते हैं ना उसके बाद में अब ये तो जनरल एक अगमचन है कि रिटायरमेंट के बाद निकाल लेकिन बहुत जन बहुत जन खुद ही रिटायर हो जाता है कुछ जन काम करने का लेकिन बहुत जन काम करता भी है बट दे वर्क एट रिड्यूस सैलरी वॉरेन बफे तो 90 प्लस का हो गया अभी भी काम कर रहा है वो तो अपने ही काम कर रहा है ना वो तो अपने ही काम सर ट्रेडिंग हम लोगों को भी सिखा देना रिटायरमेंट के बाद क्या करेंगे फिर तो रिटायरमेंट के बाद आराम से सो जाना ट्रेडिंग करेगा अपना रुपया भी खो देगा ये सब देखने का दूर का सोल ढुआना होता बस जो कर रहा है उससे बढ़िया कुछ नहीं है सो दिस इज द एम्प्लॉइज एक्टिव वेज ऑफ सर्विस एंड दिस इज हिज पोस्ट रिटायरमेंट ठीक है इसको कर देते हैं कोई और कर लेते हैं ठीक है सो दिस इज द एम्प्लॉइज एक्टिव इयर्स ऑफ सर्विस एंड दिस इज हिज रिटायरमेंट इयर्स ठीक है नाउ the actuary estimates that his final salary is expected to be 100000 right so he will receive this final salary when he retires after working for 16 years right so now guys he is worked for 1 year only right he is worked for 1 year we are standing on 31st december the final salary of the uh, employee is expected to be 100000 benefit factor is 1% theek hai na benefit factor is 1% the employee has joined on 1st january 2020 and by 31st december 2020 he is worked for 1 year so what is the uh, pension benefit that he will receive 1 year after he retires guys what is the pension benefit basically 100000 into number of years of service into benefit factor that is 1000 right so he will receive 1000 dollars every year you know he will receive 1000 dollars every year one year after he retires till the next 10 years right because he is expected to live for 10 years after retirement theek hai guys have you understood this guys he will receive 10 uh, he will receive 1000 dollars every year one year after he retires guys are we good here any doubts bolo sir good sir okay now guys what are the present value of these benefits now i am hiding ye beech ka na i am portion i am hiding theek hai na so that things get clearer to you main yahan se yahan tak sab hide kar deta hu main yahan se yahan tak right now we can see everything in one screen and यहाँ पे मैं एक डिवाइडर बना देता हूँ ओके सो गाइज प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एनविटी एट द टाइम ऑफ रिटायरमेंट वुड बी हाउ मच प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एनविटी हियर वुड बी हाउ मच गाइज प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एनविटी present value of this uh, pension benefits at the time of retirement kaise calculate karenge now we will be using a discount rate of 10% theek hai for the sake of simplicity we use a discount rate of 10% so present value of this pension benefits at the date of retirement is minus in your calculator guys type 
n equals 10 i by y is 10 pmt 1000 fv 0 calculate guys pv nikalo kaise nikalo ge? please type n is equal to 10 i by y equals 10 pmt equals 1000 which is your annuity fv equals 0 cpt pv kitna nikla guys 6144 point aya 0.5 yes, so present value of pension benefits at the time of retirement is 6144.57 now present value of these benefits uh, on 31st December 2020 would be how much यहाँ पे कितना होगा present value of these benefits on 31st December 2020 would be how much basically in your calculator you will type uh, see present value of uh, pension benefits at retirement that is at the end of the 16th year is 6144.57 now present value of benefits as on 31st December 2022 would be basically we would discount 6144.57 for 16 minus 1 15 years at a discount rate of 10% right so let us do this as well minus PV rate is 10% number of periods is basically 16 minus 1 PMT is 0, right? FV is 6144.57 type 0. There is 1470.96. Right? Let me round this up. Okay, so present value of these benefits on 31st December 2020 is 1471, right? So present value of pension benefits payable to the employee in today's dollars is or in today's rupees is 1471. Please write this down. Present value of pension benefits payable to the employee in today's dollars or in today's rupees is 1471. Guys, here calculation samaj Ashe. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Kunal, Anil, Tino, clear? Hai? I'm good, sir. Okay. So, this is the present value of future liability, right? This is the pension value, or uh, this is the present value of the future benefits that we need to pay to our employees, right? And this is known as PBO. This 1471 is my PBO, PBO on 31st December 2020 is 1471, PBO stands for Projected Benefit Obligation. So guys, this is the, this is how these things are estimated right this is how uh, the uh, liabilities all these pension liabilities are estimated right Hello, sir aaj ki date pe agar balance sheet banegi to liability mein 1471 dikhega ye actually balance sheet pe report hota nahi hai theek hai na acha ye 1471 balance sheet mein report nahi hota ye footnotes of accounts mein report hota hai theek hai balance sheet mein kya report hota hai वो इसका पार्ट है ठीक है ना मैं वो बताऊंगा बट अगर कोई आज एम्प्लॉई छोड़ना चाहे ना 
तो उसको कंपनी बोलेगा कि तुमको हम बाजार बाद में सत्रवा साल से क्या हजार हजार देता है तुम आज ये चौदह सौ इकहत्तर रुपया लेके चला जाओ ठीक है ना समझ रहे हो कि बोलता है बोलेगा कि सत्रवा साल के में हजार हजार देने के बजाय तुम थर्टी फर्स्ट दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी को हमसे चौदह सौ इकहत्तर लो और तुम्हारा फ्यूचर लाइबिलिटी एक्सटिंग्विश तुमको फ्यूचर में कुछ नहीं मिलेगा तो मार्च चौदह सौ इकहत्तर लेके चला जाओ ठीक है ये आइडिया क्लियर है अनिल बट सर वो ग्यारह दिन तक जिंदा ये एक्चुरियल एस्टिमेट ठीक है ना ये एक्चुरियल एस्टिमेट है बाद में एक्चुअली का एस्टिमेट चेंज भी हो सकता है अपने उस बारे में भी बात करेंगे ठीक है ना कि ये सब एक्चुअल एस्टिमेट्स पे बेस्ड है ये डिस्काउंट रेट दस परसेंट में कहाँ से लाया ये भी मेरे को अपने को सोचने वाला बात है ना ये कोई कोई भी फिगर ऐसे ही नहीं आ रहा देर इज अ रीजन बिहाइंड दैट फिगर वी विल डिस्कस एवरी ठीक है ना वील डिस्कस वेर इज एवरी फिगर कमिंग फ्रॉम बट टिल नाउ वी अंडरस्टूड वेर इज दिस वन थाउजेंड कमिंग फ्रॉम वी कैलकुलेटेड दी प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ pension benefits payable to the employee at the time of retirement and we've also calculated the present value of pension benefits payable to the employee in today's rupees in today's dollars or as on 31st december 2020 now guys the important part is that employer needs to have sufficient assets to pay these liabilities to pay these pension obligations when they come due to apne jo employer hai uske paas you know when these liabilities come due he should have sufficient assets to pay these liabilities and see these liabilities are not due today but after the employee retires but the employer will start preparing to fund these liabilities today only he will start to fund during the employee's active years of service though these liabilities will come due after the employee retires the employer will start to fund the you know will start preparing to fund these liabilities from today itself or during the active years of employee uh, you know the active years of uh, employee service right so what he does is what the employer does is abhi aa jata hai yahan employer what does he do is that employer sets up a trust employer would set up a trust and he would the trust he would appoint the trust would appoint a investment manager trust would appoint a investment manager right uh now what the employer would do is that the employer would make regular contributions in this trust the employer would make regular contribution in this trust the investment manager would invest the money contributed by the employer in stocks and bonds right so the employer contributed money in the trust and the investor investment manager invested this money in stocks and bonds right and these investments in stocks and bonds would be known as pension plan assets these would be known as pension plan assets and these plan assets would be used to fund what the employer has to pay employees after retirement these plan assets these investments in stocks and bonds would be used to pay employees you know it would be used to pay employees uh, whatever we need to pay them after retirement right ye trust asset management company hoti hai kya ekdam ekdam so what the employer has to pay to the employees after retirement is funded through these plan assets now if these plan assets are not sufficient to pay these liabilities to pay the pension liabilities when they come due then the employer has to make good the shortfall from his own pocket so if the these uh, plan assets are not 
sufficient to pay uh, the pension plan liabilities the employer has to make good the shortfall from his own pocket so who is bearing the investment risk here bolo the employee or the employer bolo guys employer 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 is because if there is any shortfall uh, if the pension assets are not sufficient to meet the plan liabilities then the employer has to make good the shortfall so all the investment risk is borne by the employer so the primary difference between defined contribution and defined benefit plan is that in a defined contribution plan the employee bears the investment risk and here the employer bears the investment okay so this is the difference between a defined benefit and a defined contribution plan right now see guys as i had already told you that you know to estimate the liability we need to make a number of assumptions the we would basically hire a actuary and the actuary would make a number of assumptions right so you know these assumptions would be uh, you know to estimate these future benefits the as i already told you that the company has to make a number of assumptions these assumptions would be future increments in salary right future increments in salary see i assume that the final salary is 100000 right so i have to assume the rate of increase in salary right we have to assume the rate of increase in salary we have also we need to uh, make assumptions about the discount rate and we also need to decide something called a vesting period right the actuary also needs to decide the vesting period now the pension pen benefits payable to employees post retirement is calculated on the basis of final salary so we need to estimate the final salary and for estimating the final salary we need to estimate the growth rate in salary so say guys the employee has just joined a company at the beginning of a year with an annual salary of 50000 and the employer shall retire the employee shall retire in 25 years right so uh i have just joined a company at a salary of 50000 and i will work for 25 years with the company right and uh, the actuary estimates that my salary will go grow by 4% every year so please tell me how i will be eligible to how many increments will i be eligible for 25 increments or less than that or more than that guys right? guys i have joined the company at a salary of 50000 and i will work in the company for 25 years will i be eligible for 25 increments or 26 increments or 24 increments bolo 24 24 increments very good the employee is eligible for 24 increments because salary increments take place at the end of the year ठीक है, so if I have just started working and I intend to work for 25 years, right? So I will be eligible for 24 increments. So if I have started at a salary of 50,000, and the actually estimates that my salary will grow by 4% every year, I will be eligible for 24 increments, and my final salary would be 128, 165.21. ठीक है ना? so first thing that we need to understand is that uh, we need to estimate is the rate of increase in salary right and if i work if i have just joined the company i intend to work for 16 years right so in this example the employee will be eligible for how many increments bolo guys he is he is joined today intends to work for 16 years he is eligible for how many increments 15 yes 15 increment because salary increments are usually salary increments typically typically take place at the end of the year 
ठीक है ना बट सर सैलरी इंक्रीमेंट्स कैन बी ड्यूरिंग लाइक 6 मंथ आल्सो यहां पे अपने एनुअल समझ रहे हैं वी आर यहां पे एस्टीमेशन चल रहा है अनिल ठीक है ना यहां पे सब एस्टीमेशन चल रहा है राइट सो वी एक्चुअली इज एस्टीमेटिंग दैट ऑन एन एवरेज ईयरली इंक्रीज इन कंपेंसेशन वुड बी 4% ठीक है ऑन एन एवरेज इन ईयरली इंक्रीज इन कंपेंसेशन इट वुड बी 4% तो ये एक एस्टीमेट है एक्चुअल में तो कोई साल में तुमको सैलरी डिक्रीज भी हो सकता है आदमी को नौकरी से निकाल सकता है हो सकता है कोई इंक्रीमेंट ही ना हो ठीक है ना तो कुछ भी हो सकता है बट देर इज एन एक्चुअरियन हुज एस्टिमेटिंग ऑल दिस ओके सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट द एक्चुअरी वुड एस्टिमेट इज द रेट ऑफ इंक्रीज इन कॉम्पेंसेशन The second thing that we actually will estimate is the discount rate. So, ये discount rate कहाँ से आएगा? Can you please tell? Where is this, this discount rate coming from? This we will. No, so this discount rate is the current YTM of triple A corporate bonds. This is the current ytm of triple a corporate bonds with duration of these bonds equaling the time when the bond liabilities will come due theek hai na uh in this basically duration of this uh, bond should equal the time when the pension liabilities will come due so i am writing this down duration of the bond equaling the time the pension liabilities would come due duration of the bond equaling the time the pension liability will come due okay and bond should be denominated in the same currency as the pension benefits to so, agar ye apna pension benefits is in dollars then the bond should also be denominated in dollars if this pension benefits are payable in rupees then this bond should be denominated in rupees right and uh, the duration of the bond should equal the time the pension liabilities would come due right apna idhar we are basically we are spoken of duration in level 1 right jab bond ke bare mein baat kiye honge we were speaking of duration right so this discount rate is nothing but the current ytm of a triple a corporate bond right last thing or one more thing this is not the last thing we have to assume a number of things like employee turnover mortality rate but uh, that is not in the scope of our discussion the last thing that the actuary estimates is something called a vesting period guys any idea what vesting period is bolo guys vesting period kya hai to esop pe hota hai na ha esop mein to hota hi hai very good so see employees uh, vesting basically is a provision in your uh, pension plan whereby an employee gains uh, rights to future benefits only after working for the employer for a certain number of years if the employee leaves the company before working for a certain number of years he or she may not be entitled to the pension benefits earned up to that point right so it's only after the employee has met the vesting criteria it's only after he has worked with the company for a number of years he is entitled to receive pension benefits earned in prior periods right so this is known as your vesting that you are eligible to receive pension benefits only if you have worked for the company for a certain number of years if you leave the company before that period you are not eligible to receive any pension benefits right so that is your vesting period so the actuary has to estimate 
your discount rate he has to estimate the vesting period he also has to estimate the growth rate in compensation right because growth rate in compensation would be used to calculate the final salary final salary would be used to calculate the pension annuity payable after retirement the discount rate is used to calculate the present value and the discount rate is nothing but the ytm of triple a corporate bonds with durations equaling the time the pension liabilities would come due and these bonds these triple a corporate bonds should be denominated in the same currency as the pension benefits okay so this is something that we actually needs to estimate okay guys bolo abhi tak koi doubt ab main last part mein aa gaya hu 10 15 minute aur lunga chhod dunga abhi tak koi doubt hai bolo kisi ke mann mein koi doubt no doubt sir no oh, sir abhi very important very difficult thing that i last part and the most difficult part main abhi ke liye chhod raha hu right now we need to understand the various components of your pbo now please note yahan pe ek please ek note bana lo ifrs in ifrs pbo is known as pvdbo pvdbo stands for present value of defined benefit kunal ka hai kunal mochhar maar raha tha sir <laughs> bahut hai samajh mein aa raha hai ki theek hai ha ha likh lo in gap pbo is known as pbo right and pbo stands for projected benefit obligation right in ifrs pbo is known as pvdbo but for the sake of simplicity we will address it as pbo only pvdbo bolne mein bahut jaban twist kar jayega theek hai now we need to understand the various components of pbo theek hai na so the first thing that we will understand is your interest cost theek hai so suppose now we are standing at 31st december 2021 right so employee has you know by 31st december 2021 employee has worked for one additional year that is total two years so he should receive how much after retirement bolo guys he should receive how much every year after retirement he has worked for 2 years ab kitna milna chahiye bolo guys 2 saal kaam kar liya final salary was 1 lakh benefit factor was 1% so pension benefit after pension benefits that he'll receive from 17th year till his death is kitna bolo 2000 2000 theek hai na He should have received. Ashay, कहाँ गया? Hello. यहीं हूँ सर. So he has worked for two years, and since he has worked for two years, he is eligible to receive two thousand every year, one after he one year after he retires. Right. So he is eligible to receive two thousand every year, one year after he retires. But for the time being, guys. इंटरेस्ट कॉस्ट निकालते हुए फॉर द टाइम बीइंग वी अज्यूम वी बेसिकली अज्यूम दैट एवरीथिंग इज कांस्टेंट राइट सो वी बेसिकली अज्यूम्स दैट ही स्टिल रिसीव्स थाउजेंड डॉलर्स एवरी ईयर after one year of retirement right he we, he should receive 2000 but for the purposes of calculating interest cost we assume that he receives 1000 every year he does not receive 2000 right okay now guys we are standing in 37 31 december 2021 guys calculate the present value of pension benefits uh, 
payable to the employees on 31st December 2021. Everything is the same. Everything is constant. Nothing has changed. He was eligible to receive 2000, but for the purposes of calculating interest cost, I am telling you that everything is constant. He does not receive 2000. He is he's still receiving the same 1000. So calculate the PBO. Calculate the present value of pension benefits payable to the employees on 31st December 2021. Calculate this. So guys, uh, I'll tell you this. Present value of pension benefits payable at retirement is 6144.51. So we need to calculate present value of pension benefits on 31st December 2021. At retirement is 6144.57. We need to calculate the present value of pension benefits on 31st December 2021. So basically we will discount this 6144.57 at a discount rate of 10% for 16 minus 2 14 years. So let me do this. Rate is 10%. Number of periods is 16 minus 2 PMT is 0 future value is this so guys my I'll just round this as well Okay, so guys, my PBO as on 31st December 2021 is 1618. So guys, my PBO has increased from 1471 to 1618 in spite of keeping everything else constant. We have kept everything else constant. The employee was receive, you know, was eligible to receive $2,000. But we said no, we will keep everything constant. So we kind of thought that he still receives 1000, he does not receive 2000. But in spite of keeping everything constant, my PBO has increased from 1471 to 1618. Tell me why. Guys, bolo, kyun why? Anil Kunal Ashe, please tell me. Guys, tell me why did this happen? Anil, koi reason? Sir, I don't remember. Sir, the discounting period is reduced. Very good, Kunal. So, the idea is very, very good. PBO increases with passage of time, even if we keep everything else constant. See, as one year passes, right, as we move from 31st December 2020 to 31st December 2021, one year has passed. So, as one year passes, we are one year closer to retirement, right, we are one year closer to retirement. So, we are going to discount the benefit payable at retirement by one fewer year, right. We'll, we are going to discount the benefits payable at retirement by one fewer year. And naturally, if we discount by one fewer year, year then the present value is going to be higher. Right, guys? Guys, have you understood this? We are discounting for one fewer year. Previously, we were discounting for how many years? 16 minus 1, 15 years. Now, we are discounting for 16 minus 2, 14 years. Right, so we are discounting by one year less. So if we discount for a fewer number of years, naturally our present value would be higher. Guys, yes, samaj me aare. Ashe, Anil, yes, samaj me aare. Pehle apne 31st December 2020 ko PBO nikalne ke liye 15 saal se discount kar rahe the. Aur 2021 me PBO nikalne ke liye apne 14 saal se discount kar rahe. Because we are discounting by, you know, we are discounting uh, by one fewer year, that is why present value is increasing, right? Anil, samaj me aaya? Anil? Loud and clear, sir. Okay, so guys, 
the difference in PBO is how much? So my opening PBO on 31st December 2020 is 1471 and my closing PBO or I'll write this as uh, my opening PBO on 1st Jan 2021 is 1471 and my closing PBO on 31st December 2021 is 1618 now PBO has increased by how much calculate karo 147 increase in PBO is 1618 minus 1471 that is 147 what is this 147 this 147 is nothing but your interest cost, right? What is interest cost? It is the increase in PBO due to it is the increase in PBO due to passage of time. Keeping everything else constant right so your pbo is going to get bigger and bigger every year in, even if you don't do anything right it's going to grow bigger and bigger every year even if you don't do anything right and the reason behind this is why is your pbo going to increase every year in spite of you doing nothing because pbo is a financial liability just like a loan, right? Loan is also a financial liability. Because if you don't pay interest on your loan, what would be the accounting treatment? Agar apne loan pay interest ni pay karenge to in accounting treatment kya hota? Uh, accrued interest bada jata hai liability side pe. Right. So accrued your loan carrying value of your loan would increase by the amount of accrued interest in the balance sheet. Right, the carrying value of your loan would increase by the amount of the accrued interest. In the same way, guys, in the same way, here the PBO is increasing by the amount of interest. Right, the PBO increases by the amount of interest even if you don't do anything. Right, so this is your interest cost, and there is a very simple way of calculating the interest cost, which is interest cost equals opening PBO into discount rate. So my opening PBO was how much? 1471. What was my discount rate? 10%. So my interest cost is 1447.1. Right. This is how we calculate the interest cost. It is the increase in PBO due to passage of time. Right. Just like a, okay, you can think of it as a bond as well, right? Guys, we had discussed discount bonds and we had discussed pull to par effect. Pull to par effect kya tha? Guys, what was the pull to par effect? As the bond matures, mature, it uh, pulls toward the par value. Yes. So, just like the price of a bond issued at a discount, increases while time passes and equals par value at maturity in the same way PBO increases with passage of time and you know this PBO with the passage of time would approach 6144.57 right so by the time this employee retire, retires this PBO would increase every year in such a way that by the end of the 16th year it will equal 6144.57 right so you can think 6144.57 to be the par value of the bond and this bond was issued at a discount so since it was issued at a discount it would its its price would increase by every year such that uh, by the end of the 16th year it will it will equal 6144.57 bolo guys ab ye clear hai koi doubt hai Interest cost clear? Hai? Koi doubt? Batao. No, sir. 
अब लास्ट चीज और फिर रिकनसिलियेशन करेंट सर्विस कॉस्ट करेंट सर्विस कॉस्ट ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है नाउ वी डोंट कीप एनी थिंग कॉन्स्टेंट वी डोंट कीप एनी थिंग कॉन्स्टेंट वी कीप थिंग्स द वे दे शुड बी ठीक है गाइज मेरा ओपनिंग पीपीओ ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वॉज फोर्टीन सेवेंटी वन Now the employee has worked for one more year, right? So we are we are standing. I copy कर देते हैं. He has worked for one more year. That is, he has worked for two years in total. Now, what is uh, his final salary is expected to be one hundred thousand. So his pension benefits uh, that he will is eligible to receive. Every year, one after one year after he is, he retires is how much, guys? He's worked for two years now, so he's eligible to receive pension benefits of how much after he retires? बोलो जल्दी. दो साल काम कर लिया है कितना pension benefit मिलना चाहिए after he retires? Two thousand per year. Two thousand. ठीक है. Very good. So he'll receive two thousand every year for the next ten years after he retires. ठीक है नाउ ही रिटायर्स हियर यहां 16 साल में सो द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ रिटायरमेंट बेनिफिट्स एट द टाइम ऑफ रिटायरमेंट कितना होगा नहीं पहले ऐसे नहीं करते नॉट लेट्स नॉट डिस्कस दिस ठीक है ना ऐसे नहीं बताता इसको यहां पे बताता हूं इसको यहां पे बताते हैं ओके बस पांच मिनट और देना कुनाल जाना नहीं कुनाल हम्म कोई सोएगा नहीं आज बहुत ही जरूरी क्लास है अनिल सोना मत सर में जगह हुआ हूँ एकदम जागते रहो भी मैं संग संग बोलता रहूंगा दरबानी भी कर लूंगा <laughs> okay. नहीं तो करने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी ओके सो वेन ही हैड वर्क फॉर वन ईयर राइट ही वॉज एलिजिबल टू रिसीव वन थाउजेंड डॉलर एवरी ईयर टिल नेक्स्ट टेन ईयर आफ्टर ही रिटर्न राइट Now he has worked for two years, so now he is eligible to receive how much? Two thousand. Okay. One second. Now he is eligible to receive two thousand every year. One second. What is that? is eligible to receive 2000 every year till he retires right now what are the additional benefits uh, that he is receiving additional benefits that he is receiving by working for one more year bolo guys thousand yes So he is basically receiving one thousand extra per year for the next ten years after he retires. Okay. Now, guys, present value of these additional benefits calculate करना at the time of retirement. Present value of these additional benefits at the time of retirement. ये calculate करो. We don't have to calculate this on thirty-first December, twenty twenty-one. 
He had joined on 1st January 2020. By 31st December 2020, he had worked for one year. And by 31st December 2021, he had worked for two years. So we need to calculate the present value of these additional benefits at the time of retirement that is here. Ye calculate karo. How will we calculate this? Simple. N is equal to 10 because there are 10 annuity payments after retirement. PMT equals 1000. Our discount rate was 10%. FV equals 0, CPT, PV. Bolo kitna? Same right? These are the present value of additional benefits at the time of retirement. And present value of these uh, additional benefits on 31st December 2021 is how much? Ye 6144 ka we need to calculate the present value that is we'll have to discount it for 16 minus 2 14 years at a discount rate of 10 years 10 percent so my n equals 14 i by y equals 10 fv equals 6144.57 and emt is 0 cpt pv Calculate when not present value of additional benefits on 2021 31st December 2021. Kitna hai? Bolo kitna hai, guys. Jaldi. N equals 4 I by Y 10 F V 6 1 4 1 PMT 0 CPT PV. Kitna hai? 17 17 NK. But for say karo. Anil calculate kara. So gya tum. Is a karo karo. Mars second CPT second CC pale memory clear karo. फिर करो ये एंटर करो n equals 14 i by y 10 fv 6144.57 pmt 0 cpt fv cpt pv आशे आज आशे सो गए आशे मैं सोच रहा हूँ डेंजर सवाल कर तेरा सवाल बहुत अच्छा लगता है चलो जल्दी बताओ कितना टाइम लगेगा कैलकुलेटर चलाने में सर सही नहीं रहेगा ना पहले जैसा कितना आ रहा है 4071 होगा ना तुम 14 साल से डिस्काउंट कर रहे हो ना तो कितना आया n equals 14 कर i by y 10 कर FV equals 6144.57 car PMT 0 CPT PV. Kisiki aya? My Excel may calculate. Kar leta. Niko kya ni kala? PV. N rate aya mera 10%. Number of periods हो गया चौदह PMT zero FV क्या था six one four four point five seven 
एडिशनल बेनिफिट payable to the employee for working for one additional year theek hai so when he had worked for one year he was eligible to receive 1000 dollars every year after he retires when he work for 2 years he is eligible to receive 2000 so additional benefit that he receives by working for one more year is 1000 present value of these additional benefits is at the time of retirement is 6144.57 and present value of these additional benefits on 31st december 2021 is 1618 and this 1618 is nothing but your current service cost This is the present value of additional benefits payable to the employee for working for one more year. ठीक है? Right, guys, are we good? समझ में आया ये? आशय कुनाल? Good sir, good. Now, अब मेरा purpose क्या था? We will use the current interest cost, current service cost, and interest cost to reconcile the opening and the closing PBO. ठीक है ना? ओके okay. तो मेरा इंटरेस्ट कॉस्ट था 147 ठीक है माय इंटरेस्ट कॉस्ट वाज 137 147 माय करेंट सर्विस कॉस्ट में निकाला वन सिक्स वन एट माय ओपनिंग पीबीओ इज वन फोर सेवन वन राइट नाउ दिस सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड एंड एटी इन दी क्लोजिंग पीबीओ आई हैड कैलकुलेटेड कीपिंग एवरीथिंग एल्स कांस्टेंट बट this is how not things actually should be things can't be kept constant for every year the you know for every additional year that the employee works he is eligible to receive 1000 extra after retirement theek hai na so pbo at the end of 31st december 2021 kitna hoga he is eligible to receive 2000 every year after retirement theek hai Present value of these pension benefits at the time of retirement hoga. Rate is ten percent. Number of periods is ten. PMT is two thousand. Future value zero. Type zero. ठीक है. So present value of uh, pension benefits at the time of retirement is twelve thousand two eighty nine. Right. Now we'll have to calculate the present value of the pension benefits on 31st december 2021 theek hai na so we'll have to discount this rate 10 number of periods is 16 minus 2 pmt is 0 fv is this type zero okay. so guys pbo at the end of 31st december 2021 should be थ्री टू थ्री सिक्स गाइज ये कैलकुलेशन समझ में आया कि नहीं प्लीज टेल मी हाँ सर मैं एक साल और काम किया पहले साल एक साल काम किया था तो हजार रुपया मिल रहा था एवरी ईयर आफ्टर रिटायरमेंट एक साल और काम कर लिया तो अब दो हजार मिलने लग दो आई एम एलिजिबल टू रिसीव टू थाउजेंड डॉलर एवरी ईयर आफ्टर आई रिटायर 
so i calculated the present value of this annuity at the time of retirement and uh, then i calculated or this i then i calculated the present value of uh, these retirement benefits payable as on 31st december 2021 so my pbo on 31st december 2021 is 3236 theek hai na to ab mera मतलब एवरी फॉर एवरी इंक्रीमेंटल ईयर ऑफ सर्विस ये जो हमने फर्स्ट ईयर के लिए निकाला तो उतने से वो ऐड होता जाएगा सब में नहीं उतने से नहीं होगा वो उतने से नहीं होगा क्योंकि यहां पे तो ऑलमोस्ट सारा डबल हो गया ना नहीं 16 से 18 का 1471 था ना पहला साल में हां अब 3236 हो गया ना पीपीओ अपना पहले 1471 था अच्छा अब हो गया 3236 माय पीवीओ ऑन 31 दिसंबर 2022 2020 वाज 1471 ऑन 31 दिसंबर 2021 इज 3236 तो डबल नहीं हुआ ठीक है ना अगर सी नाउ अंडरस्टैंड इफ आई ऐड इंटरेस्ट कॉस्ट एंड करंट सर्विस कॉस्ट टू माय ओपनिंग पीवीओ इट शुड इक्वल माय क्लोजिंग पीवीओ ठीक है ना अगर मैं ओपनिंग पीपीओ इफ आई ऐड इंटरेस्ट कॉस्ट एंड सर्विस कॉस्ट टू माय ओपनिंग पीपीओ इट शुड इक्वल 3236 देख लो गाइस दिस इज एग्जैक्टली व्हाट वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड विद दिस प्रेजेंट वैल्यू कैलकुलेशन राइट सो ओपनिंग पीपीओ और क्लोजिंग पीपीओ का फर्क क्या होता है इंटरेस्ट कॉस्ट एंड current service cost what is the difference between the opening and the closing pbo interest cost and the current service cost what is interest cost it's the increase in pbo due to passage of time your pbo would increase uh, even if you keep everything else constant it will grow bigger and bigger as time will pass right that was your interest cost explanation and what was current service cost it was the present value of additional benefits that the employee receives by working for one more year theek hai na and this is the difference between the opening pbo and the closing pbo and both ifrs and gap required that we reconcile the opening and the closing pbo bolo guys ye clear hai ki nahi guys ye calculation clear hai kisi ko mann mein koi doubt aa raha hai 3236 kaise aaya 1471 kaise aaya ha क्लियर 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 है 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 सर कुनाल कुनाल ये तो अनिल करंट सर्विस कॉस्ट क्या होता है 